Hi everyone! So today I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video as I've been waiting on some lovely new parcels to arrive. I've got a big painting on the board at the minute. Here's the photo reference. It's a bit of a nightmare. So many pinks in there and my uh, colour palette in the pink department was a little bit limited. So I got in touch with Dakota Pastels in the US and I asked them, can you send me a sample box with lots of different brands to try and what I'm really after uh, are hot pinks. And they did and this is what they sent me. So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and show you what I got. So first of all they've included a couple of little samples of paper. Here we have Pastel Premier Italian Clay and I haven't actually tried this uh, before. It feels a little bit like the UART paper that I've tried and they also included a little sample of UART 400 and that's actually what I'm going to test all these lovely pinks out on today to show you how bright they are. But let's have a look at the pastels themselves. So let's see what we've got in the big box. Wow! So I saw pictures of these. Uh, Dakota Pastels sent me some photos of what they'd selected for me but nothing really does them justice. I'm sure they don't look quite as bright on screen either. And in the little box, three extras. So I'll take you through, through what brands we've got here. Uh, this is a whole bang and it comes in a very cool little container. Nice sharp square edges on that. And I haven't tried hardly any of these brands before. In fact, a lot of them are uh, produced in America and I haven't tried them before, so this will be great. Adela Rowney, I have tried these before. A little bit harder than the Unisons. I do make use of them. Uh, this is a great American. Lovely big chunky square edged pastel and a really lovely vibrant pink, so I'm very pleased with that one. And Mount Vision, in fact both of these by Mount Vision, two lovely colours and again the uh, consistency of these reminds me a little bit of the Unisons so I'll be interested to see how well they apply, how soft they are. I'm always looking for pastels that aren't too much softer than uh, the Unison pastels so anything as soft as or a little bit harder than that is fine for my work. Um, these are Richeson and they're a lovely little shape actually. I quite like using the half sticks and they're three really beautiful colours. I love all three of these. Really nice. And next we have an Art Spectrum and this is a little bit more red than pink but it's a beautiful colour. I'm pretty sure I'll make use of that. And now we're into the Diane Townsends. Um, I've got quite a few of those and I really like the unusual shapes. Nice colours also and three more of the Diane Townsends. Really nice purpley pink this one. And also a bit of a lighter tint which I know will come in useful in this painting that I'm working on. And lastly I couldn't resist this and I bet it won't come out on camera at all but it's fluorescent pink and I can't wait to get an excuse to use that. It's incredibly vibrant. So Let's try a few of them out on the UART paper and see what sort of marks they make. So I'm going to give them all a bit of a squiggle on some UART paper. And I'll start uh, in the order that I showed you them in and then I'm also going to include uh, a bit of the Schmincke, the Unison and the Inscribe that I already had just so that we can compare them all. Quite a large range of different brands so it'll be interesting to see how they go on the paper. So first of all the Holbein, it feels a little bit harder. Um, I think that's going to be a really useful pastel for painting flowers especially when you might want a really sharp edge. Uh, to get a, a nice clean line somewhere. That's really lovely consistency and very strong colour. And uh, the Dealer Rowney, um, 
I am a bit of a fan of these. Again, when I'm looking for a harder edge, it's a slightly harder pastel, but still nice and soft, not as hard as some of the thinner sticks, like the Faber-Castell sticks. Again, a lovely rich pigment from that, and it's a really nice, uh, almost bubblegum pink. So uh, even sometimes when I'm painting children's portraits, some of their clothing poses me a bit of a problem if I don't have the right pinks. So this will be a very useful selection. So the Great American next. Again, I love the shape of this pastel, big square edges. Again, all quite soft so far, the whole bind being the hardest so far. And that's a really lovely pastel. Again, almost Barbie pink. I have to admit pink's not my favorite color. <laughs> so to do an entire unboxing video on the color pink seems quite random, but it is a color that I need at the moment and I'm so happy to get such a beautiful selection now to work from. So this is the Mount Vision. Again, I really like the consistency of that. These are all uh, three, uh, roughly the same softness, I would say. The dealer Rowney may be a little bit harder, but these two are similar in softness to the Unisons that I'm used to and also quite a similar hue from this as some of the unisons that I have already but that's great to have such a lovely big stick of that and this one this is a color I haven't had so that's very useful again another Mount Vision beautiful color so on to the little uh, Richesons Again, very much a colour I don't have in my palette and you see it quite a lot in the natural world in our flowers and plants so that's great and again a similar softness to uh, these three um, in a similar bracket to the unisons in terms of softness. Another Richeson, again another really beautiful vibrant colour that's going to be so useful. Uh, this one, again, uh, a little similar to some of the unisons I already have, but when I see it on the paper it's actually really lovely, lovely and vibrant. So a little touch more fleshy, like this one, um, but these ones I was definitely very much lacking in my palette, so I'm really happy with those. The Art Spectrum, a uh, really unusual colour, I know I'm going to make use of this uh, it's quite similar to my red 7, or no, red 9, in fact. Quite similar to that, and I use it all the time, so that's a really lovely addition. And now the Diane Townsends, and these are really unusual shapes. I like the fact that they're quite uh, nobbledy and nice to hold, so I would probably take the papers off right away, but I do that with most of my pastels. And again, that's quite a similar colour to some that I already have, but really nice uh, texture, nice consistency. It goes on the paper nice and evenly. I have to say that these are all really good quality pastels, so I'm not expecting to find one that I don't like. Um, another Diane Townsend here lovely to have a big stick for blocking in on bigger paintings. Um, when you go into the, the better quality pastels you really do find that they're a world away from the, the cheap uh, student grade pastels that you might have already tried. This is another Diane Townsend. Again similar to these very useful extra shade for me, something I don't have in my palette. And a nice light tint from Diane Townsend. And that's really lovely. Although I'm still very impressed by the dealer Rowney, which is quite a similar colour to this one. And um, lastly from the new ones, this is the crazy fluorescent <laughs> Diane Townsend. I don't think this will come out very well on camera but I can tell you that it's 
absolutely blinding in person. <laughs> I'm going to use a clean finger to blend this one. Let's see if we can get it really bright for the camera. It's so bright, ridiculously bright. So not a colour I would use very much of, I'm guessing, but hey, I look forward to the day when I have a good opportunity to put a few blobs of that in a painting. That's amazing. Um, this is uh, one of the Schminkies, which I already owned. Let's put a blob of that on to compare. Again, a nice sort of fleshy pink, um, a little bit like the Unison uh, Red 16. Nice sort of a bit more muted uh, fleshy pinks. Um, the ones that I was really after were, well, really vibrant, plus these more um, sort of purpley pinks. And lastly, we'll try a little bit of the Inscribe. And that goes on really vibrantly. They are a great pastel if you're starting out. Um, they tend to produce a bit more pigment than some. And I wouldn't bet on this one lasting the test of time. But if you're practicing, um, they're certainly a great pastel to get going with. But I would always recommend getting some good quality pastels into your collection soon if you're uh, serious about making paintings that will last a long time. So thank you to Dakota Pastels for sending me such a great selection of pinks. I'm pretty sure I'm well stocked now. Uh, if you'd like more information um, how to order from Dakota Pastels, I'll put a link in the description below the video. Well, I better get back to work and start testing out all of these new colours. It's been a really messy job showing you all the new pinks, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe here on YouTube for all my new content. And also check me out over on Patreon if you'd like longer, more in-depth tutorials. Until next time, happy pastling!